Hi, this is Kanababu. This is the continuation of part 2. So actually in our food court project, basically we are discussing about um, here th there are basically two types of users are there. One is administrator, other one is employee. The role of administrator is to, administrator will log in and he will add the item types and he will add the items and he will update the stock and he will add the sales person and he can view the sales details. So I will try to open my Visual Studio 2010 and here I want to develop the project. I already created one folder on my desktop. So here I will create a new project and uh, I will select the Visual C Sharp Windows Forms application and the name of the project I will give as food court. Right and I will click on browse and here I will go to the desktop and there I will try to select a folder called food court project where I want to save my project right click on ok now initially there are two types of users are there first of all uh, here once when you uh, check the role of administrator administrator will first log in so here once you can go and check in your solution explorer and here by default one form is added that is form1.cs I want to rename this form as a right click rename and I want to rename as admin login dot cs right it will ask you to save the changes so I have saved here and I want to give the name of the form right click go to the properties the text I'll give as here the text I'll give as admin login form so here I will try to design the form one so after designing my so here I designed the admin login form in order to make the thing faster here I have taken one label the text for the label is what I have given some uh, four, uh, four color the text is food court and uh, this is the label username password one sign in button and here I am introducing one control called progress bar control and the name given is progress bar 1 and here I am introducing the control is timer control the name given is timer 1 and here this is one picture box control where I want to display some image or some logo you can use a control called picture box control so in this example I want to introduce about progress bar control and timer control right and here I am giving the IDs for the control that is the name for the control the name I have given for the text box one is txt username and the name I am giving for the text box two is txt password for button is btn sign in for progress bar I have kept as it is progress bar one for timer I kept timer 1 so generally in real time we, we have to give the names or IDs for each and every particular control which is used to easily identify the value so now I want to introduce about progress bar control now once when you press F5 here if you observe clearly go to program.cs go to solution explorer and there you can check it out program.cs and there you can see here main method is there the object is created for admin login form right so by default program execution starts from main method and then it is creating an object for what admin login form right now my requirement here is I will add one more page go to project add windows form and uh, the name of this form I will give as uh, admin home admin home dot cs click on add button and here once when the user is login and here the admin by default if the username is admin and the password is admin and uh, when we click on the sign in button it has to redirect to admin home.cs and here I want to perform the validations username must not be empty so right click on the text box one go to properties there we can see events here you can find an event called leave event this leave event will fail whenever the control leaves the text box so double click on leave event and write the code so here I am checking that if text box if the username text box is empty it has to display the error message for that I will write the code if txt username dot text is equals to empty it has to display the error message so here I will write message box dot show off saying that username must not be empty username must not be empty and in the same way after displaying the error message I want to focus the cursor within the text box one so there is one predefined method called focus method 
txt username dot focus it will focus the control within that uh, same text box if you want you can press f5 and check the output so whenever you press tab button then automatically leave event will fire and it will check if the username is empty it will display the error message and the cursor is in the same text box similarly select uh, text box to right click go to properties there you can find events and there you can find leave event so here you can double click on leave event and write the code password must not be empty so here i will write if txt password dot text is equals to empty here double equals to is comparison operator single equal is assignment operator message box dot show off here i want to display message saying that password must not be empty password must not be empty and i want to focus the control in the text box to so here i will write txt password dot focus predefined method i'm calling it right and uh, password must display in a hidden format so right click on the text box go to properties here you can see this is the properties window decide that you can find the events window and within the properties we are having a property called password care in which format you want to display i want to display in stars so here you can simply say username must not be empty so i will give some name something like admin and the password must not be empty so i will give admin right so my next requirement is if the username and password is admin and admin and click on sign in button it has to redirect to admin home dot cs right but here i want to introduce a control called progress bar control and timer control timer control is used to uh, stop the output for a particular time interval timer control will have a properties called interval the default time interval is 100 milliseconds and you are having a property called enabled by default timer enabled is false timer will work if enabled is equals to true and whenever uh, the timer enabled is true then automatically an event will fire which is called a stick event and here progress bar will have a property called value property the minimum value is 0 and the maximum value is 100 so here i will double click on the button and here i will write the code you just check it out i will write something like if txt username dot text is equals to admin if the username is admin and uh, txt password dot text is equals to admin if the username is admin and password is admin then i want to enable the timer so there is one property called timer one dot enabled is equals to what true right else i want to display the error message saying that invalid user so username and password both are admin and admin it has i want to enable the timer else i want to display the error message saying that invalid user is it clear and once when timer enabled is true then automatically tick event will fire so go to your uh, design and uh, right click on the timer control properties there you can see events double click on tick event so timer one underscore tick event will automatically fire whenever the timer one dot enabled is equals to what true so within this tick event i will set the value for the progress bar there is one property called value progress bar one dot value is equals to progress bar one dot value plus five so progress bar will have the minimum value for the progress bar is zero and the maximum value is five so here my requirement what i want to do here is let us assume this is the progress bar control right and um, this is the minimum value the minimum value is zero and the maximum value is 100 so i want to increment the progress bar value for five times so initially progress bar one dot value is zero zero plus five five means your progress bar will move like this next time it will move for what 10 so i want to rotate i want to stop the output up to a particular time interval until the progress bar reach its limit 100 once when the progress bar reach the maximum number value as 100 then i want to in a, i want to set the property timer one dot enabled is equals to what false so here you check i will write something like if progress bar one dot value greater than or equals to 100 i want to stop the timer 
timer one dot enabled is equals to what false and apart from that i want to navigate to the destination form in windows forms application if you want to navigate to one form to another form you have to create an object for the destination form so here i'll create an object for admin home a1 is equals to class name object name is equals to new constructor name of and i will call the method a1 dot show method else uh, no need of else here that's it uh, if you once check it out here i will try to debug and the username i'll give as admin and the password i'll give as admin and click on sign in so here you say it is login successfully it is redirected to admin home form right so how it is working let us check it out so just keep the breakpoint here within the button one underscore uh, click btn sign in underscore click once you debug and here you give the username as admin and password as admin click on sign in now this uh, method is executing and here text box on the text is equal to admin admin is equal to admin condition is true password is also admin admin is equal to admin condition is true so timer one dot enabled is equal to once when the timer is enabled automatically tick event will fire so the minimum value of progress bar is zero now it is five incremented now the value is how much 10 and the progress bar is moving 15 20 25 up to the value become what 100 here you see progress bar is value is 50 now here you see the value is 100 now the condition is what true timer enabled is what false now we are navigating to the destination form that is admin home and finally display the form and check the output so in this video we have discussed about uh, once when the admin is login right with his username and password he will successfully redirect to the admin home dot cs right so in admin home dot cs i want to design the admin home here we know the role of uh, administrator so first of all i'll go to the toolbox and there i will try to drag and drop menus and toolbars are there i'll try to drag and drop the menu strip control and here i will try to uh, the role of admin is admin will add what item types so here i will write something like item types and admin will add what items and uh, and here what is the role of the admin if you observe clearly admin will add the item types admin will add the items and admin will update the stock the admin will update the stock details and uh, admin can uh, um, add a salesperson admin can add the item types items as well as he will add the salesperson is nothing but an employee and admin can update the stock and uh, admin can view the sales and admin can uh, uh, log out so these are the properties of the admin and here i want to drag one label and I want to simply display one message saying that welcome administrator. So this is my admin home form. Once when you try to log in with username is admin and the password is admin and click on sign in. Then uh, here if you observe clearly the progress bar is moving and it is showing the destination form. So in, in the next video we will discuss about how to add the item types and how to add the items and how to add the salesperson all the other concepts so subscribe to me for more videos you can subscribe to my youtube channel and you can log into the facebook group www.facebook.com slash group slash world of dot thank you have a nice day